Alright, so this is the second video for the alarm. Um, as you can see, I got quite a few wires going on here. And uh, you see the LED blinking? It's arm right now. Uh, it's on my power supply over there. Of course, I don't have the siren on because that thing would be screaming like crazy. And um, the reason I'm making the second video is because I wanted to show you the reasons why now I'm not too crazy about this system. Although I do like it, uh, at least the uh, features of it. But uh, I'll turn it uh, unlock it right now, I'll turn it off, and I'll show you that it is working. So let me turn on the light. And um, here's the remote, and see I have a door lock there. Oh, it's already off. I mean, uh, unlock. So I'm gonna lock it. And the reason it was blinking is because I shook the uh, sensor before, so I had that. So if I unlock it and turn it off, it should stay off. So it's working fine. So as you can see, it is working. Door locks, LEDs on, it starts blinking in a second. Lock off. Okay, now <clears throat> let me uh, unlock it and turn it off. Actually, let me do this again just to show you that it works. So, should be locked. This is the sensor. So, that's the alarm going off. I gotta turn it off. I just turn it off, but it's still locked. Unlock. Now it's completely off. So, um, what did I want to get to? Um, basically, as you saw in the previous video, this is very small, fits in my hand. But if you look at the relays, um, these are just the relays you need in order to get the door locks and the uh, passenger uh, door lock uh, accessory working. Not the accessory, um, this is uh, uh, what do you call it? The uh, <coughs> lock unlock. And this is a second unlock for the feature where you can unlock the the uh, passenger or other doors with just the uh, second button press uh, for security reasons. Obviously, uh, you need three in order to set that feature up. And I wanted to set it up in my car because I know in some places you really need that feature. Um, let me see. And uh, I just kind of want to uh, do that, but as you can see, the three relays are as big as the uh, unit itself. And now I got a bunch of wires that have to eventually get fixed. Um, and I want to show that because, you know, just so you get an idea how big this thing is, or how much of a difference it would be versus getting an alarm that has the uh, built-in relays for the door locks. Um, the old alarm I have also has this feature but it wasn't installed and um, I kind of just wanted to show you this part because that's the part that uh, they don't tell you of course the wires will get cleaned up once um, I know exactly what's going on there right now what I notice is that <clears throat> on the door locks right here there's the uh, this uh, wire here always has 12 volts this is coming from the alarm so I'm not sure how that's gonna work out because uh, obviously if you have a big drain of anything then uh, current rent drain then your battery is gonna go so I have to measure that and kinda see what's going on there um, obviously I, they do drain a certain amount but I really don't know how much uh, it is exactly I'll see if I can get a number there but so far the system seems to work and I just got it yesterday so this is kind of the other thing that kind of 
Um, I was like, oh man, it was sounded cool, you know, I, I could do all that, but uh, now looking at all this uh, extra big uh, pieces here, um, the only thing you think about is, you know, you gotta stash this in the somewhere in the car, and this is the reason you, although the alarm wasn't too bad and and the features look nice, uh, this is kind of the downside of it, I guess. Uh, if you want to look at it that way, because now, uh, compared to the ones that are built in, which would make it a little more or a little bigger, um, I'm not sure if that's a you know, trade-off I like anymore because uh, I just got to find a place to put all this now. And this is only for the door locks. Um, you don't need this one if you just want to leave both door locks on, uh, on and off with just two relays. That's all you need. But uh, I wanted to use that feature because I had never used it. So here, the other two missing. Um, there are still two, two more relays that I need, and one is obviously for the starter interrupt or whatever you want to interrupt, and the other one is the uh, trunk. So at least those two, and then there's another one for a dome light. But that one I never use and I won't be using it because um, obviously if you use a dome light it basically takes the feature of the auto arming if you want to use that off. So it, that's kind of a trade off there and then I didn't realize it until I read the manual. So I'm going to leave that off so that means I only need uh, 5 relays at least in order to complete the system uh, working in the car. But uh, I wanted to cover that because you never you know actually see this until you have to install it and that's why I wanted to mess with this on my bench here um, it is on the power supply there 12 volts coming out of that so I can test this or uh, look at it before I even try to take anything apart and uh, it, there's only like 14 wires here but then you add all these wires and well things kinda as you can see get a little messy there um, I mean, yeah, you can clean it up, but he, this is something to consider, and obviously I haven't seen any videos about the uh, specific alarm, um, so I want to show what that was like, because uh, it's getting a little bulkier and, well, not so pretty right now, but, you know, uh, that's another thing I'm, I didn't really think this through, but uh, right now I can still... I'm still debating whether I should send it back or not since I just got it yesterday and it hasn't been installed or I haven't cut any wires or anything. Um, that's why I see all the long wires too because uh, I wanted to just test them out as it, as, as it is. And um, well, that's what the alarm without the built-in relays uh, looks like. Uh, the only relay that's built into the uh, brain here is the uh, flashing the lights. Um, I did contact the manufacturer and they did say that. It was just a flashing and sure enough that's all I got. Uh, and it is small enough but um, I'm trying not to move this because it's plugged in right now but into the power supply. But um, let me see. So it's a little big but uh, it wouldn't hurt to uh, get something that has them built in and shouldn't be any bigger if you're not getting any uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, remote starter either, so that's why I like to go with those. And the other one I have is just a little bigger, so something I didn't really think about it, uh, or think through, but that's why I'm making a video, so others can see and choose if they want it. Alright, that's it for now.